Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm your Yoshin. Today we are gonna see what is meant by chromatic notes and what some parts of chromatic notes. If you are new to my channel, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get further notifications. Now let's just get into the video. Today's topic is chromatic notes. First, we have to know what is chromatic notes. Chromatic notes is nothing but a series of notes playing continuously without skipping or playing a note again. There are two parts in a chromatic note. The two parts are sharps and flats. Sharps is a semitone up and flats are a semitone down. So, in a guitar, a semitone is nothing but a fret, any fret, like the, let's take an example, the last string, fifth fret, it is a semitone. A sharp means moving down, moving upwards, upwards, moving upwards on a guitar means moving towards the bridge. This is the bridge and moving downwards, which is a flat, means on a guitar moving towards the nut or the tuning pegs which are in the part of head, moving towards the nut or the head. So a flat means moving towards the head and moving downwards, a um, sharp means moving upwards and moving towards the bridge. The difference between them is when we move towards the bridge, which is upwards, you may see the pitch differs, which goes higher, like this. You can see, you know, the uh, pitch is getting higher and higher. When it is meant going downwards, which means the pitch goes lower, like this. You can notice, right, when we go uh, towards the bridge upwards, the pitch is getting higher and higher when we go downwards to which is towards the head it, the pitch is getting lower and lower so a sharp is a semitone up and flat is the semitone down so now we have learned what is meant by chromatic notes scales and sharps as i mentioned you before chromatic notes is nothing but a playing a series of notes continuously without skipping or repeating a note again in a chromatic notes, we have 12 notes. A chromatic scale, we have 12 notes. 12 notes, which means as uh, we take a circle, a circle, and we name, uh, mention them as a first point as A, A sharp, then after that A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. And when we start it, like A, we go A, a sharp, uh, B, C, C sharp, D, E, D sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp and again A comes and after that A sharp, B and the same repeats. So in our guitar, not as a circle but as a line, when you take example as the first string, this is D, first fret is D, second fret is D sharp. A third fret is E, fourth fret is E sharp, fourth oh, sorry, fourth fret is F, fifth is F, uh, F sharp, sixth G, seventh G sharp, eighth A, ninth A sharp, the tenth is B, and the eleventh is C, twelfth is C sharp. Okay, C sharp. And after C sharp, again, when you go after C sharp, what comes? It comes D. D comes after C sharp. So again, it repeats. So as we got here D, the same thing. D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and A. Okay? So in our guitar, as in the uh, resemblance of the circle, we, uh, we can know that after G, G sharp, A comes. But in our guitar, to indicate that we after the twelfth fret, which is the twelfth fret, this one we have two dots, which means which resembles after twelfth fret, the uh, notes again repeat. So in a chromatic note, a chromatic scale, we have 
12 notes only after that it repeats okay this resembles that so now as we learned a chromatic scale has only 12 notes let's see all the chromatic notes in each of each strings okay let's start with the first string e the first one is d first fret d second fret d sharp e third one f fourth f sharp fifth fret uh, after f comes g g is the uh, sixth one g sharp seventh after that a uh, eight a sharp is nine b is uh, 10 c is 11 c sharp is 12 after that d d sharp e f f sharp uh, g g sharp and a the next string b after b comes c c so first grade is c c sharp d d sharp e f f sharp and after f comes uh, after f sharp comes g g sharp a a sharp b and again c repeats the next string which is g after g comes g sharp so g sharp after g sharp a a sharp b c c sharp d d sharp e f f sharp and after f sharp comes g okay and after that g sharp a a sharp the same next one d fourth string d the first fret is d sharp e f sharp f f sharp uh, g g sharp a a sharp b c c sharp and d after d again the first string which is D sharp, a uh, first fret which is D sharp. Again, the same after the eleventh fret is D sharp. The next one is A. After A comes A sharp. A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A. Sharp, A. This is the ending, 12th, uh, 12th fret. And again, A sharp, B, C, the same repeats. And the last string, which is again E, which goes F, F sharp as the first string, F, but the pitch differs from the first and last. So guys, that's it for today. Meet you all in the next video. Yoshin, signing off. Goodbye.